Hey boys and girls, last week of school. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you're gonna be in sixth grade soon. Well, in an effort to get you ready, Ms. Runstrom has one more little lesson to give you so that you guys are ready to go. All right, we're gonna take a look today at how orally, so the things you hear and also in written form, you might see words that you have to make sense of, okay? So we're gonna look at a couple phrases today and think about what do they mean, all right? And we're gonna to try to put them into equations or expressions so that we can work through the math, all right? So I'm gonna take a couple examples, but before we do, we're gonna take a look at some vocabulary to make sure that you guys are really able to think about it. All right, here we go. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh boy, Miss Renstrom is already writing. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's take a look at this here, okay? When you look at this, right, we know that the sum is the result you get when you add. The difference is the result you get when you subtract. The product is the result you get when you multiply. And the quotient is the result you get when you divide. Some other terms that you might see today and other things you want to explore are things like the idea of half of something or doubling something. Um, and today, you might even see when you're working that there are a few terms that you see all in one phrase, okay? So here's an example of that. Half of the sum of 8 plus 10 is, okay, so half of the sum of 8 plus 10. So the sum of 8 plus 10 is going to be addition, right? Sum is the result you get when you add. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about what that looks like. So if I take 8 plus 10, right, that's going to get me started, and that kind of covers this part of the equation right here, sum of 8 plus 10. And then it says half of that. So there's two ways we could find half. We could multiply times a half, or we could divide it by 2. We could cut something into two parts, right? So 8 plus 10 cut into two parts equals... All right, well, I know that 8 plus 10 is 18. And if I divide that by 2, that's going to give me 9. Oops, 9. So I know that half of the sum of 8 plus 10 is 9, okay? Let's take a look at a couple more examples before you get into your practice today that your, that your teachers have, a, have assigned. Okay. Let's look at this one. The sum of 7 and 8. Okay, again, I know that sum means I'm adding. So I'm going to do 7 plus 8. And the sum of 7 plus 8 is 15. Okay, how about this next one? The product of 1 eighth and y. Now, I don't know what y is. That's a big question mark. That's the unknown. We talked about that on Monday. Um, the product of 1 eighth and y. I'm not going to be able to solve like I did here where I was able to figure out the answer, but I can write what's called an expression. So this here is an equation because it has an equal sign right here. But when we write an expression, we do that because we don't have enough information to be able to, to actually be able to solve the other side of the equation. So let me show you what that looks like. So one eighth the product means I'm multiplying, so 1 eighth and y. So I'm going to do 1 eighth times y. Okay, now again, I don't know how to solve it. It's just an expression. If I knew more information, I could use an equal sign and solve for the, for the other side of the equation. But I don't know it, so we're going to leave it as an expression without an, equa with a, without an equal sign. Okay, last one. Double the sum of 6 and 8. Okay, so... I know double means I'm going to do something twice. You guys learned that in second grade. You learned, okay, the double of four is eight. The double of seven is 14 and so on. We're going to do that in a second. But let's start right here. The sum of six and eight. I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them in parentheses because I have to do that first. Okay, six plus eight. And then I'm going to double it. And I know that doubling means I'm multiplying times two. So six plus eight is 14. And 14 times 2, because I have the information that I need, I can actually solve this equation. I'm going to put an equal sign, and I'm going to solve it. 14, which is 6 plus 8, times 2 gives me 28, and I can solve. 
Okay, that's it for today. You guys are going to head off to your cl Google Classroom. You're going to see some practice work. Take your time. Think about those vocabulary words. They're very important and make sense of them before you solve. All right? I hope you're all doing well. I missed you all terribly and I wish you the best of luck. Okay, talk to you soon.